everyone, and welcome back to the RSC EU Season 8, Week 3, for one last time tonight. We're going down to the Challenger tier for this one. You know, the quality's meant to be worse, but I'm sure it'll still be an absolutely massive game with plenty of thrills and excitement, but... You know, we've got a little bit of a change in the cast of Earth. With me for this one is indeed Boopy, and how are you feeling about this match that we face ahead of us? Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited to, uh, to watch this one. I do always say that, but I'm so hyped to see this one. Um, massive roster change from Scorn. Um, and I really want to see how they play. They're, they're a team I really do rate highly. Um, and I just, I expect them to dominate personally. <laughs> yeah, Archeon's finally gotten his ideal team in place and, you know, they've, they're have they really looking to, to try and climb up the leaderboard after their shaky start because, you know, they're only... They're only 10 and 10 coming into this one if we uh, if we jump into the team stats. We'll see uh, that, you know, Scorn were, are known for, for how well they can play last season. They did very well, maybe maybe faltered a little bit in the playoffs, but they can still do very well. And I'm sure Archeon will be hoping that this newly formed roster can uh, live up to what he thought it could. Yeah, absolutely. And I expected to. I, I think, you know, two players from minor last season on the Scorn roster, along with Swift, which is, is going to be an insane roster to watch. Epsilon also starting off really, really well um, early on in league play as well, finding themselves top of the table. Um, so third versus fifth, but it, to me, it kind of feels like a bit of a, a first versus second matchup. Yeah, and if we go into the the player stats, we'll see. For Epsilon, and all they need from this is one to put themselves on the top of the table, tying them out really with the goal difference, and we're going to get into it like, straight away. Yeah, where well, the cars are started, the engines are running, and we're into this one in a lightning quick start from Scorn. Oh my word. Frizzle my shizzle. He spots the back of the net and he fancies himself, and he does indeed find it. Great finish. Maybe a bit unfortunate for Ice Ice Davy on that one, but doesn't matter for Scorn. They have the early lead. Unfortunate indeed. He came off the wall just trying to get it out the way of Frizzle, but. Uh, a shot coming in, finding the back of the net very, very early on. And I did say um, an offense to watch out for, and we see that already, but we see it from the other side here as Ice Ice Davy trying to force that one past, and he's hitting this one Swift, going to hit it onto the left side, but Ice Ice Davy getting there first, and Swift uh, pushing up a little bit far there, and it's going to leave their defense open for Fon to score the first goal. Yeah, good response from Epsilon. They they found themselves down very early on and backed themselves to just cancel that goal out immediately. Revised Neil couldn't get up for it and Vaughn will indeed finish it past his former teammates. So great way to get back into it. And, you know, already a, a massive start from both of these sides with only 30 seconds gone. Already an insane start. And something that really surprises me is looking through the Epsilon games. Uh, what I tend to find is they have a lot of close games. Uh, they don't... Kind of score a lot they don't get scored on a lot and we're sitting here 50 seconds in with two goals already on the board and the pressure coming in from epsilon just locking scorn into their own half ice ice daisy finding it round one finding it round the second into the midfield and fonds there for the second goal for epsilon he's so good at scoring goals he scored so so many for Amotos last season and now he's moved over to the Epsilon and he's not slowing down whatsoever. Came into this one with 19, has already got two to his name and they've already completed the comeback and got themselves back into the lead. Insane stuff from Epsilon and they're gonna find themselves putting pressure on Scorn again. A revised Neil just getting wiped out and Rizzle trying to take this slowly. It's gonna get pinched mid again, no one there. Two find the shot, Ice Ice Davy popping at mid. A little passing play coming in from Scorn, trying to push this one up into the Epsilon side. Frizzle hitting that mid, and this is a bit of a sticky situation here. Low on boost, but he is going to get the save. Swift taking this one up the wall. He gets demoed, and Epsilon is really good at just locking Scorn in their half at the moment. Uh, good at regaining those midfield possessions, those loose balls, and it's working for them here. They still hold on to this lead, and... They're all playing pretty well. Also, Ice Ice Davy was on that Emoto's roster, so Fawn and Ice Ice Davy maybe carrying forward that chemistry, and it's working out for them, and Frizzle maybe should have had a better look in at that one. Swift tries to pick up the pieces and finish it off, but can't get around it in time, and Swift will get it clear. 
so unfortunate there for Scorn. They had a little bit of a freebie, but just a little bit of a, a fumble on the dribble there from Swift, and they find themselves still a goal down. The pressure coming in from Epsilon Fon. Up for this one, he's going to beat out Frizz, but Neil is there for the save. Can't quite find the touch and a little bit of a fake out. East is going to get 50. And no one really pressuring that. And the pressure from Scorn is really not what I expect. Uh, they're pushing a player really, really far up the pitch a lot of the time. And it's really hurting out their offense and their defense because they're too far up to uh, get a touch. That was almost a goal as well for Epsilon due to the third man pushing too far up. Yeah, Frizzle can't deal with this one very nicely. Can only find Divi on the right hand side of the defense. And Frizzle's not just centered it for Epsilon. It's anyone there, no fun. Couldn't get to it in time, and Frizzle will indeed get the clear that he wanted previously, but Divi once again meets it good at getting those reads on Frizzle's clears, apparently, because he just keeps trying to pen them back in, but Swift has actually come away with the ball in the midfield, tries to get the dribble going, but Ace reads it very well, and means that they survive a little bit longer, but Scorn once again pick up that loose ball and get it going on the offense, but doesn't come to anything. Divi with a good demo on the left-hand side for them here, opens up the defense a little bit, means they don't have much time to regain, but... They get away with it because Fawn can in, cannot find the back of the net. What really happened there amid no no one really defending for score. Luckily they do get back in time and find themselves on the offense, but not for long. Fawn taking it over one and Riz is all that stops him from being scored on here as Nil comes in. Taking this round, dropping it down to Frizz and can Frizz find the shot? It's just wide. And that definitely could have been a close one. Yeah, he's maybe a little bit scared of Ice Ice Divi on the goal line, just fluffs his lines, doesn't even get anything on target for Divi to deal with, and he then very comfortably gets it out of defense and means they're back on the attack again. Frizzle's got it into the middle of his own box, but Fawn can't get around it and get the touch, but he does in this one, gets in the middle, but Swift is the only man there waiting to deal with it. He tries to find Neil in the middle on the counter attack, but he can't find the touch that he wants, and it means Epsilon are able to build from the back once more. Fawn to the right for Divi, he gets a good touch to keep up the attack. Neil looking a little bit awkward on this one. Can only find the middle of his own box with it and surely you're asking for more of Fawn than that one. Absolutely. I, I guess he just didn't expect the touch that Neil got there just being so weak hitting it straight out in front of the goal but uh, luckily no one did get there and, and Swift gets there in time and they do still find themselves one goal down and they're not really finding anything at the moment. Frizz rushing back for the save is going to get the clear. Hitting this one, bumping a player out the way. Swift finds the crossbar. Can he get the goal? It is going to get saved and the demo on the back lines is going to give Epsilon another goal. 3-1 to them. Three seconds left and I think that's the game to Epsilon. Yeah, it's been quite a poor start from scoring. They got that that first goal in the first 10 seconds off of that fortunate 50 with uh, with Davy from Frizz. But ever since then, it's always been Epsilon that have been looking to to build on their lead. And you know they've they've been well they well deserve this this first game win because they they were in control of the match for the majority. They'll concede one at the end here, but will be of no matter to them because they know that they've already won it. They've done enough, and you know they'll be looking to continue on this form into game number two. Absolutely, a little bit of a freebie there at the end, just uh, kind of padding the stats, but ideally it's not going to matter, and we did say in the pre-talks kind of talks that Epsilon, all they really needed was that one game to tie themselves at the top of the standings, and already they've got it, and, and they might be able to push themselves further, push themselves more in the lead, um, and, and kind of secure themselves that top spot. Yeah, we're really looking over to this symbiote side and score in order to try and turn the tables here, prove that this changed roster is not deserving of a mid-table finish and can really challenge for those top two spots, but the performance we saw in this game number one is not deserving of, of any of that praise, so really hoping they can make more of a match out of this one and really make Epsilon work for their wins. They did have to come back from a deficit Epsilon did in this one, but they didn't really look all that, that panicked when that happened and really backed themselves to go on and win that one. Yeah, I mean, a really unfortunate early goal. Um... Uh, that, that Scorn scored and, and it, it put Epsilon on the back foot. But apart from that, Scorn really didn't find anything. And it wasn't really a goal that they kind of formed themselves. It was just kind of a 50 that ended up in the back of the net. Obviously, a 3-2 scoreline, the last goal being um, on zero seconds, a little bit of a freebie. But they haven't really found any offensive pressure at the moment. Uh, they haven't been putting plays together. And it's mainly because they're just pushing one player so far up that they can't really use him in offense. They're too far up to be passed to. And 
and it leaves their defense weakened for Epsilon to find these goals. And it's just something I expect to see more of in this game number two. Yeah, not only did Epsilon win that one three to two, but they also got outshot for an 11 to three. So they had the much bigger offensive pressure on this score in half. And you know, you really sort of expected that from a, from what the from what the game looked like. It, it always looked like Epsilon had more chances to to get more goals on the board. And yeah, we we want to see score and try and try and change that around, get something more going. And trying to do that as Frizz in the middle gets a touch, but. Rebounds out only to Fawn, and he has it in the middle for Davey. Maybe no Swift just about does enough, and now he's taking it away from Neil. Actually saw Frizz on the right here. Has a good opportunity, but East has done enough to, to knock him off, and that one will go off target, meaning Fawn can control it in the right corner. It's now foul. Nicely for East in the middle. He has a shot, but Frizz has plenty of time to deal with it. Ice, Ice Davey actually has a... Maybe looking at a pass. Sees Fawn on the right-hand side, but Fawn isn't quick enough to get to it. East, massive miss, but... Fawn will deal with it and, you know, maybe give Scorn some confidence. That's sort of a whiff coming out from Epsilon. Yeah, good play there from Frizz as well. Using that corner, he saw that the defender just really tucked into that goal. Used the corner to just bang the ball really far out. Unfortunate that they did find the backboard and they are pushing into the half. All of the Epsilon players are pushed up, but Ice Ice Davey is going to get back for the save East. Clearing this one along the left side and Frizz with the ball, but no boost and no shot to show for it. And that definitely could have been a goal, but very unfortunate stuff as a shot coming in from Swift, but East is going to clear that away and they just can't really find a goal at the moment. Yeah, neither team able to take a, a foothold in, in this game number two and, and really show the other team what they're made of. It's been pretty back and forth and, you know, we want to see a player step up and, and bring us that moment of quality that we desire in this in this game. But it's just a question of whether we can see that happen or not. Or if maybe we just see a mistake come out from one of these teams. It will nearly be the moment from Frizzle, but he's beaten one, can't beat Ice Ice Davey in the net and it's a good save from him in the end. Good save, rushing back, just knocking that one off, off, uh, off the goal line, really, and a little bit of a bait out there. Frizz, Frizz? is gonna. Oh, 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 it's my first goal replies, Neil that is there. It's gonna be the first goal for Scorn in an insane showing. Yeah, Frizz's 50 is exactly what he wanted. You know, it doesn't result in the direct goal, but falls nicely off the post for Neil to get the rebound effort, and Amly tugs that one home. It's a good start for them, but. We saw what happened last game. They got the lead first and they fell in the end, Epsilon. And they're trying to repeat that effort as they immediately score a kickoff goal. That's so unfortunate for the Scorn side. They just go up and instantly they need to put all of that work back in again to find a, another goal. Pretty much half time here as uh, the ball is again in the Scorn side. Fun, no booster really. Put anything dangerous on target here. Neil taking this one up the wall. Trying to take it all the way. He's going to 50 fun, but no one following. Actually, Swift coming in. Can't find the touch. And there's a shot. He's going to get defended. Fun hitting this down into East. East getting a clear, but Swift is going to do this one quite easily over East into Fon. Fon hitting this mid. Can Frizz find the touch? He can. And if he didn't find that touch, it was definitely looking dangerous. Yeah, the Epsilon offense really coming in at them full force now. Trying to get the balls in the middle so that someone can finish it off, but Scorn have dealt with it pretty well. Double commit whiff coming out from them, though. Might open up the offense even more. Uh, he's just run out of boost, so and Frizz can get it clear, although it gets demoed. Means that Epsilon will have more time to control this one, but Fawn's touch is a bit skew whiff, and it means Swift can capitalize on it. Get in the middle for Revise Neil. He has a look in at goal, but can only find the crossbar. No, Frizz, but he's is equal to that one. So, so close for scoring, but they just cannot find the finishing blow. This is just something I definitely expected from Epsilon. Their defense is insane, but it's not going to be good enough to keep this one out as Frizz. I think the second one in uh, for Scorn, and the first time they've gone in the lead, uh, lost it and gone again. So this is looking promising for them. Only one minute 30 left for Epsilon to find another goal. A lot of time on the clock, but can they get out of their half and can they find that goal that they desperately need? Yeah, they've had to find a reasonable amount in this game number two, but can they change the tide of that and get the offense going more? They have had look-ins, they have that one goal, but the scoring defense has, has been pretty solid in this game number two and we're looking for Epsilon to try and change that. Davey now, forward. Neil does very well to block it in the midfield and get it in the middle for 
Riz, he has a follow-up touch as well. It's headed up nicely for Neil, but he can only find the sidewall with his effort, and Fawn will actually have a chance for a shot. Can't find the touch, though, and means Frizzle can just collect it up and start the offense once more for score. And they're trying to find a third even, and it will indeed come. Frizz, he started off that play. He'll finish it himself, and it's a good goal in the end. Well played from score, and they're well worth their two-goal lead now. Definitely only 50 seconds left for the comeback, and I, I don't really see it happening. And this is the kind of thing that, that happens when you have a few kind of ex-minor players on, on this team. They can just pull something insane out of the bag, score one, maybe two goals, and, and it really does change uh, change the pace of the series because uh, Frizz here coming, uh, coming in, scoring two goals uh, in spectacular fashion, and it puts Epsilon really far down, really battling to try and keep this one out and Revise Neil is going to find the fourth goal for Scorn. Yeah, really dominating display from Scorn in this one after they looked quite poor in that opening game. Revise Neil this time has an opening ever and you know it's a really good turnaround for players like Fraser and Neil who you know started in teams like Fearless where they were having a bit of a bad start maybe didn't have their desired team but they've made it happen now they, they've got it going and you know, it really looks like a dangerous team that, that could be challenging further on in the season. Absolutely, and dangerous once again as Swift trying to find Frizz. It's going to go a little bit high, and, and all three players from Epsilon just kind of forcing a half the moment. Swift hitting this one off the wall. It is going to go to East, but it will be dealt with quite easily. Two people up for that, but not really going to matter here as the ball is going to drop, and Scorn is going to take their first game. Very well played from them. They come in as maybe the slight underdogs considering that they've had the worst start and the, the newly formed roster, you know, might have been the desired roster, but they haven't had that much of a chance to play together as a three, as a unit just yet. So this will be one of those games that can really decide how they how they look up to the next rest of the season considering Epsilon are such a strong side coming into this one in, in third and with that first win tying first. So, you know, it's, it's just a question now of whether Scorn can keep this up, can can really get the chemistry going and stop stop the Epsilon from coming back in the series and, and really finding that chemistry that they found in game one and, and maybe in the previous season as well, considering Fawn and, and Davey are, were a known team back then. And, you know, they, they, they link up quite well sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned chemistry. Epsilon do have that chemistry from last season. Um, but Scorn, it, it is a, a new team. Obviously, Frizzle and um, Neil have been playing together on uh, another franchise, but pretty much it is a new team and, and they do need to kind of settle into playing with new players and, and just working together, getting that chemistry. And you talked about shots as well um, in between the last uh, two games and uh, Scorn coming in with a lot, a lot more shots than Epsilon um, in this one. And, and maybe that's something they'll be able to replicate in these, these upcoming games and try and uh, take a few more. Yeah, looking over at the stats, no, actually I see that you know, zero of the scoring players in Swift and Frizzle, they've they've come into this one with 26 and 27 percent shooting accuracy. Though that was maybe a little bit down in the in the opening few weeks of the season, but it's definitely changing in that game number two. Frizzle got a couple of goals of his own, and you know he, he looked pretty of pretty high quality in some of them. And East has actually had a big whiff here, forces Fawn to make the block, and you know there's teammate Davy just about gets across for that one. But worrying signs from Epsilon, not looking too too confident in the opening few seconds of this one they're not looking confident at all and scorn really is that their positioning their pressure is definitely a lot better they they have a, a guy back and they have two people pressuring the ball they kind of stop pushing that man really far up uh, really focusing on just putting the players in the right place and uh, locking epsilon in their half a shot from east is going to hit the post almost the first goal for epsilon but again frizz taking two out the game there east and get a shot, but Neil is going to get a touch on this one. Bit into the Epsilon box. High size Davy up for a touch. Swift hitting it off the backboard. Can Frizz? He gets it over one, but Neil is there and he's going to find the first goal for Scorn. Continuing on their form of the last game, they get the opener here. Frizzle has the ball in the middle. Fawn, little bit of a whiff, couldn't find the touch that he wanted, and that meant it fell for revised Neil. He was already up for it and tucks it home nicely for the leading goal in this game number three. Uh, they went up in all three games so far. They won the last one and they, they lost the first one. So although they have gone up, it, it 
doesn't really tell us what is going to happen in this game. However, uh, the positioning is definitely a lot better. And kind of a ceiling pass coming in with Vice Neil. Piling on the pressure, trying to find the next goal. And he's going to snipe the top left corner for goal number two. Yeah, the Epsilon of defense just committed slightly too hard with that ball. Farn and Divi double committing when East was already out of net. Neil spots that opening and just slots it home with the long range effort. Good, good attempt from him and it, it'll pay off. They have the two goal lead and now we're relying on Epsilon to be the ones to make the comeback. We've seen that they've been uh, struggling to hold leads sometimes this series, but now they're in the oppo opposite position and have to play from behind. They have to play from behind indeed. Uh, two goals behind specifically and, and the pressure is not stopping. Another one coming in. Uh, luckily a bump from East keeps that one out of the way. Swift again hitting this one into the corner. Fon going to get a touch but again a Swift a pass a little bit too high for Frizz and now they can start getting on the attack. The last defender is demoed but that has given time for the defense to return. A little bit of a high pass. Frizz is going to deal with that one quite nicely and Swift popping this one up. Frizz just Trying to find any touch he can there. And Ice Ice Davy. Hit this one down mid. Fon into Neil. And Neil now hitting it down to Frizz. Frizz is going to hit this one into the box. And it is going to get dealt with quite nicely. And it's just very back and forth at the moment. It's just uh, one team hitting it into the box and then it getting cleared. And um, that really does favour score. Uh, they have the two goal lead. They don't really need any more goals. And Epsilon really locked in their half and not really being able to find much. There's another goal coming in. Four score and Frizzle puts his first one on the board for this game. Doran really starting to run away with this series. They won the last game in convincing fashion and it looks like that might be the case again because Epsilon cannot get their act together. They're struggling to find the passes, the, the third man defense that they need. And you know, it just means that they're falling to more and more at goals conceded. It's, I, it's really hard to see scoring throwing away a goal of this caliber, or a lead of this caliber, sorry. Yeah, I mean, they really have stepped up. Uh, two minutes left. There is still time for the comeback, but I, I don't see it happening. It's just the pressure they're putting on um, is immense again. Neil putting pressure on. Frizz gonna throw it onto the backboard. Fonda's get the clear going for the double touch, but can't quite find it. And a shot coming in. And Epsilon just look in panic, looking just dis dis despair. They, they don't really know what to do, and then they have three goals to find, and uh, can't really leave their half and put anything together. Neil now will find a fourth for score, and it's gotten even worse for Epsilon. They've only had two shots all game long, but Scorn have had eight, and they finished half of them. Well, very well done from them. Neil will finish off his hat trick, and they just keep on going. The machine keeps on trucking and Epsilon have a mountain to climb now in this game three and four. They really do. Uh, it looks like all is lost for this game and they have to really only pay for the draw. Scorn, uh, kind of still the pressure on them. They, they do need to find that next game for the win. Um, all Epsilon needed from this game was one, uh, one game and they have found it and at the moment they're just like they're really struggling, really struggling to get any save, any clear out of their box. And I think the pressure from uh, Scorn is just too much to handle. Yeah, they would have they would have liked more than the one that they needed to go first, really trying to take that commanding position in first. At the moment, as it stands, there will be three teams tied on 16. So not exactly convincing position in the table, considering only two can get that immediate playoff spot. But... You know, when, the, when they've been playing like this, they don't deserve that more than that one win because Scorn have just been better in the last two games and we really have to see Epsilon step it up, find that game one form, find the form that they found previously in the season even because, you know, they definitely have it in them to, to take it from Scorn and whatever whatever it is, it, we haven't been seeing it in the last two games. We haven't at all. That was a very sloppy one. As a little bit of an awkward save there. Shot right at Ice Ice Davy, but definitely could have done better with that one. <laughs> The fifth one coming in now, just kind of rubbing salt into the wound. Five goals up for Scorn, and they have all the momentum. No goals coming um, out from Epsilon in this game. Um, so it really puts them in a dangerous position in the next game. They just need to take a little bit of time, reset their uh, mentality, and, and just kind of do the best they can in the next game, and kind of forget this one ever happened. 
Yeah, it's also about scoring, you know, not getting too confident with themselves, knowing that there's still a job to do in this series, that they still need one more to, to get the win over the line. And when they've been playing this dominantly and Epsilon have been pretty much non-existent in that game, then, you know, they might get a bit over overzealous and Epsilon, you know, we, we kind of want to see them take advantage of that if that if that is what occurs and really take it to score and really make them make them feel that they still have to work for it and that Epsilon are still a force to be reckoned with. For sure, and the pressure just shows in the stats as well. 61% field domination as well as that. Uh, the whole of Epsilon only really have half of Neil's shots, so they're just not getting the opportunities to score. Um, and when they are, they're, they're not scoring anyway, so they do really need to reset. They need to work on kind of maybe uh, their mentality. That maybe they may be t uh, tilting, especially after that, that first win and now two um, down in the series, and they, they really want to find this second game. Yeah, they'll be wanting to rescue the draw. They would have liked to be in a better position than this, you know, knowing that they have been able to score so many goals and, and being so good at, at keeping the defense up. But that is not what is what is passed in this game. And it leaves them in this perilous position where they might be falling to a loss to a team, you know, pretty, pretty far. Well, not pretty far below them, but definitely below them in the table and a team that, that will really want to catch up with them in the season. And Epsilon would have liked to, to try and shut that down but before it could occur. Yeah, and this is kind of a new situation for Epsilon. They've only lost one game in league play so far, and they've never had a draw. They've had four wins. Um, so a bit of a new situation for them. Uh, maybe they don't really know how to find their footing in a 2-1 in a and trying to battle for their draw, because it will be a, a new score for them. But they do just really need to reset, forget that last game happened, and just uh, try and pull something together here. The pressure is starting off early for Scorn, and now... This is kind of the form we saw earlier as he's throwing a shot on target, but Neil is going to get there for the save. Ice Ice Davy again with the pressure. It's going to get cleared to Neil, but Neil cannot find the touch. Ice uh, East, a little bit of a mistouch there, but Fon is going to try and battle that one away. And it is starting to look a little bit more that, like that panicking e uh, Epsilon that can't really find anything and can't really clear the ball out of their box. Uh, can't find anyone in this one for his, has the opportunity for the double, but... Can't finish it off. It means Epsilon can go down the other end and counter Francis Smith. This one is dropping nicely for East. Does he have the shot? He does. But Swift has put him off in the goal line. He's fluffed his lines and he sent it high and wide onto the post. But they've kept up the offense. They've kept it alive. On back in the middle. Frizz will deal with it and beats Davy as well. He has an opportunity now to have a look in it net. Well, tries to maybe find the pass in field, but his teammates weren't ready for it. And Epsilon will get it clear once more. Frizz. Once again in the middle, Davy has a good shot downfield. Ease will look to try and get the finishing touch, and it actually has a, a little bit of a dunk on Swift, but will not amount to anything. And much more back and forth, much better from Epsilon. They're really keeping themselves in this one, really making score and work for these clear balls. Neil once again has to get it awkwardly clear, and Epsilon just keep coming back at them. And it's just a question of, of whether they can they can capitalize on this and really get themselves back into the series. For sure, and it really looks like they will get themselves back in the series. This is definitely more like the Epsilon we saw in that game number one. And the pressure piling on Fon, getting the shot. It is going to go in, and they find themselves in the lead. Very well played from Fon. Has the dunk on one. Davy, you know, Frizzle has to respect Davy in that position. He might be getting a shot on, but the whiff was indeed enough for Fon to nip in ahead of Frizz and get it past him into the back of the net. Good finish, good awareness from him. To know that Frizzle had to had to wait for that one, and it's a great way to get themselves back into the lead. Try and get some confidence back after you know being a little bit of a, a dominating factor from from scoring in the last two games. Really, really took it away from Epsilon. Yeah, they did really take it away, and this is exactly what Epsilon needed as they find the second one. They needed to go up early um, and to get a few goals in uh, before Scorn really finds their footing in this game. They've done so. Two goals already, only two minutes. Uh, but there is three minutes for the comeback, and um, I don't really see it at the moment. Epsilon is playing a lot better than they were last game, um, and they tend to kind of have one game in a series where they they just kind of fall apart. I mean, they've had a few uh, they have had a few games where they have uh, been 5-0, but they've come back to get the win. Um, and maybe this is something we're going to see here as East gets a little bit of a dunk, and he's going to get the third one for Epsilon. Yeah, the the scoring the scoring players are struggling to to take control of the ball. They keep getting dunked on. The epsilon players doing very well to read them and know exactly what they're going to do because they keep finding the back of the net like that. This time, it will be East, and 
Yeah, scoring, they, they've got to do better. They've got to be more unpredictab in, unpredictable in their efforts in possession in midfield and not let Epsilon just get these easy dunks in them and, and just extending their lead even further. Extending their lead is definitely what they're looking for at the moment. All players in the scorn half, that is going to almost find the backboard, but Swift gets the clear frizz, hitting that up into Ice Ice Davy. Ice Ice Davy finding it round another player. Fon getting a shot on target, and that one almost found its way all the way in the back of the net, but the pressure is still coming in. He's hitting this one mid again. Neil popping this out to Davy. Davy with a not the best touch, and Fon up now. Just trying to keep this one out of the hands of Scorn, but they are going to find it swift. The touch down to East. East battling it down this right side. Can he get the bump on Frizz? No, he can't. And it is very, very back and forth at the moment, Bob. Just as you said earlier, the back and forth always favours the team in the lead because it's just more time ticking off the clock for them. And Epsilon will be very grateful for that because they know the quality that Scorn have and how possible the, the comeback could be. But... They're struggling to break through the defense from Epsilon right now, and you know it, it, if it keeps going like this, it's going to be very good for Epsilon to rescue the draw. Like, once again, they put off that that man trying to attack the ball and get in the back of the net. He doesn't do so, and Epsilon keep their three-goal lead, trying to find the counter. Fawn looks for that ball, but can't find the touch, and it will once again fall for East's possession. Not for long, though, as Neil coming in, trying to throw a shot on target. He's going to end up back the scorn half. Fawn using the corner to find East, but it's not going to go any further. Revised Neil getting it down to the wall, but Fawn pushing this one back into the scorn half, and he's going to take it all the way himself, finding the fourth for Exelon and really putting the nail in the coffin, in my mind, and securing that draw. Yeah, that should be it. We do indeed see a draw from these teams, and... You know, it's it's maybe a bit of a bit of a lacking one from Epsilon. They would have liked to, to keep up their good form in the season, but two is enough to go clear at the top and well, only one win of course, so still very close in those positions, but Gordon they've they failed to capitalise on their momentum in this final game and have fallen you know by a considerable amount considering by, by how many goals they won in that game number three. Yeah, Scorn were looking very, very confident in the last game, but it didn't really transfer over to this game. And Epsilon, I did say they need that kind of mentality reset, and that's exactly what they've done. They've come into this game a lot stronger, ignored the score from the, from the last uh, from the game number three. I and mean, it's really worked out for them as they almost match the score. Uh, only one goal off matching the score from the last game from Scorn, as the time really is just dwindling away swift. Gonna hit this one into the corner. That is just gonna bounce up for East to get a pretty standard clear. Fon there, reading the touch from Frizz. And are they gonna get the last goal? Are they gonna find the back of the net again as it, it hits the post and it gets cleared away and is gonna end up in a 4-0 win for Epsilon. We see the draw come out. It looked all but inevitable in the last series with the major game that was just so topsy-turvy, but we didn't see it then. We actually see it now in the challenger tier between two teams that you know, maybe maybe both would have liked a win of their own, but doesn't doesn't come out for them. And you know what this means is we get double the amount of interview, double the amount of fun in the cast and everything. Do you have anyone that you you had your eye on, Boopy, in this series that that really that really uh, showed a bright spark? Well, I mean, we have to interview Fon. He's just put up an insane performance, scoring loads of goals for the Epsilon side. I'm. Kind of undecided from Scorn, deciding between uh, Frizz and Neil. And I'll, I'll leave that in your hands, Bomber. Well, you know, I'll go Neil. We'll not give uh, the admin any more time on the limelight. He's already doing enough behind the scenes. So we will get Neil and uh, Fawn in the booth and, and try and ask them a few questions on what went down in this series. Hello. Absolutely, and we have one already in the uh, in the production booth. I'll let I'll let you start with your uh, with your questions, Bomber. <laughs> Hello, Neil. Well done on that draw. You know, you maybe would have liked to keep it going in the fourth game, but you know, just want to want to ask you what happened there. You had such a dominating game three, but you just really fell behind the mark that Epsilon set in that game four, and you know, eventually fell to that four 0 defeat. Yeah, well, I don't know, like, third game, everything was connecting, we were playing really good, and then fourth game just, it didn't connect for some reason, and I don't know, it just went down bad. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate, but, 
you know, also all credit to you for coming back in that game number two. You know, Epsilon really, really did well to come back from that initial frizz goal in the first 10 seconds. But, you know, you, you took it back to them, took game two and three. And, you know, it really will do wonders for your series going forward. Only three goal, three wins off that top two now. And, you know, how did, how did you find that mentality to, to get yourselves back in the series? Well, I think it was pretty good from all of my teammates because... I know I thought we did. We, I thought we didn't. We wouldn't come back. But then at the end, we did come back, and I'm, I'm happy with the draw against Fawn and his team. I mean the top uh, tier. So yeah, yeah. Pippi, you got any more questions for Neil here? Well, I was just going to mention the fact that kind of um, obviously you and and Frizz do have chemistry from your time at, at Fearless. But moving over to Symbiotes, having Swift as your third, kind of uh, pretty much a new team is is. Is it something you're trying to work on, just uh, playing together more, getting used to uh, Swift as that third and just building up that chemistry? Well, yeah, because we, we've only played like the two or three league games we did now and we didn't have a coaching session yet. We couldn't really play together because we all have a tight schedule. But uh, we're going to get some games in and uh, we'll get that chemistry. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's just something that will come with time. And, and you did look very dominant in that, in that game number three. So if that is something you can replicate, then you will be performing very well. But we will move over to our other interviewee. Ice Ice Davey um, is in the in the um, interview booth. I'll let you start again, but man. <laughs> oh, hello, Davey. Well done on that draw. You brought it back in that fourth game to probably got those four goals. And you know, you came into this one as maybe the favourite on paper, but you know, how do you, how do you think that affected you going into this one, knowing that you were maybe the the supposed favourites? Well, I think it was uh, Boopy on RS Car saying they don't think um, Scorn were going to lose a series, so <laughs> I think that maybe put a little bit of pressure on them rather than okay, us. Yeah. It was a, it was a re- that was a really tough series. We knew it was going to be like a really really difficult series. They're so fast, they're so they challenge so early, they get all the good reads. And we we had to play sort of game four, some of the best we've ever played in order to beat them. Like game one, we maybe caught them a bit cold, but game four, I mean, we had to play. That's probably the best we've played. Like it was, it was a really really tough series. But I'm just pleased to get the draw, to be honest. Yeah, you know, you... Game two and three, <laughs> <laughs> rescued it in the end. Yeah. Really, really had to fight back in that one, bring out the best plays. But I'll pass you over to Booby now and, and see if he's got any more insightful questions to ask you. <laughs> insightful stuff well um are you you were saying you're really happy with the draw what kind of result were you looking for when you came into into this game because uh you you find yourselves only really one game win off the top of the table so were you looking for like the one three the two two or did you think you could take it all the way oh we're definitely looking to 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 win as many games as we can i think we we, we knew you'll see this is a, a rebuilt scorn roster so you don't really know what to expect so i think Knowing that I've played with Neil quite for quite a while, I know I know he's good. He's very very good. I know the other guys are good as well. So it's just kind of feeling filling each other out really. So I think you know can't go in and say I was expecting a tool, but you know you also mm. obviously want to win the series, but you've got to sort of take what the opponent gives you. And they were very very good. It was a very hard yeah. fought draw. Yeah, I mean you guys played really really well. You've secured yourself um, at the top of the standings as well. So that is a uh... Definitely something to be happy with. And how did you kind of reset after that game number three? I mean, not really scoring a goal, getting scored on a lot. Um, is it something where you just kind of thought, oh, we'll just ignore that game, uh, move on, uh, mentality reset and just battle for the next one? Yeah, pretty much. I think we just said we need to <laughs> get back to game one pressure, really. It was a case of get some bumps, get some demos. He's put in a, a quality read off, off Neil, which really helped sort of hype us up and there were some, yeah. some good finishes in there as well so yeah I think just just general more pressure and I think it started to pay off but yeah the yeah. game two and three were I don't think we played too badly there were a few I didn't have a particularly good series but I think there were a few yeah. times we were caught a bit slow but like they just overpowered us in game two and three yeah, well, you called me out for what I said on RS Cast. I have to give you the respect. It's still true. It's still true, though. <laughs> I have to give you the respect you 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 have earned. Uh, you do look uh, like a really strong team, a stronger team than I, I thought myself. And um, congratulations for the result today, because you really showed that you um, are one of the top teams, and you are a team that people kind of need to be worried about in in the challenger tier. 
Yeah, GG to the scorn, guys. That was a really, really good series. <laughs> a lot of fun to play in. Hopefully it's fun to watch. Yeah, fun to play in, fun to watch, fun to cast. And um, that is actually all we have um, on the schedule. I'll pass you back over to the big admin barman himself uh, for the final words. Yeah, that is the end of tonight. But don't go anywhere, folks, because we have another three matches of brilliant RSC action tomorrow. And I'm sure it'll be a great three matches indeed. We've had some wonderful moments on stream today, but thank you everyone for watching. We will close it out. This has been Barmanatan. This has been Mr. Boopy. Good night, folks. Good night. Speak that into existence. All I really need is a vision. All I really need is persistence. And never to believe that you get it in an instant. I had a grain of salt to everybody's opinion.